Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day. And today's presentation is on ordering groceries online and specifically how to get your groceries delivered right to your door. So first, why is ordering groceries online better? Even though grocery shopping online can be more expensive, it can help you save time, money, and effort. Ordering groceries online means that the grocery person that will be delivering them or the company will deliver the groceries straight to your door. And you are also able to choose and easily find exactly what food that you want and have it delivered whenever it is convenient for you. Ordering groceries online during the coronavirus pandemic. During the pandemic, as many of you may know, ordering online is a very simple way to stay safe during this time and limit your outings as well as contacts with people outside of your own home environment. During the past year, many stores have added an online option for groceries or improved their old system to fit everybody's needs. Unfortunately, this also sometimes means that because of the overflow of people, some systems might not be working or delivery times might not be available. So this is why it is very important to know how to use the website correctly and to be able to choose a time that is available and convenient for you. This webinar will be also going over some tips of how to troubleshoot long waiting periods, which is also very helpful during this time where many people are using these services. Now you might be wondering, who delivers groceries? There are many large grocery chains that offer this service directly from their own websites, and others offer this service through the use of an app or a third party, such as Instacart which is available to customers in both the US and Canada. Many more grocery stores have started online programs to help you get groceries during the COVID-19 pandemic and through the lockdowns and restrictive periods. So there is lots of opportunity for you to get your groceries online from a very wide range of places. Now here are some stores that have their own delivery services. First, there's Walmart um, and also Ralph's. So once you receive a copy of this presentation, you'll be able to click on the links that you see, or you can simply type them into your web browser if you're interested in looking at them now, but you will be able to access them in a few um, hours after the webinar. Additionally, there's also Loblaws and Sobeys as well in Canada, and of course the Real Canadian Superstore. Continuing on, there's also Whole Foods and Costco, as well as Metro. And there are also um, sites that are just delivery sites and aren't actually from the grocery store itself. So there is Instacart, where you can go to instacart.com, and we will be exploring Instacart a bit further in today's presentation. And then there's also Grocery Gateway. And Instacart is in both um, Canada and the US, and Grocery Gateway is only in Canada. Additionally, there's Uber Eats, um, where you can go to ubereats.com, and there's just a small picture of their services. You can see them riding on motorcycles, um, and they have many different types of foods available. They now are delivering groceries. They used to just be a service for um, moving people, say like a taxi, um, as well as from restaurants. But during COVID, they decided to change their services. And we also have a past webinar on this if you're interested. And one of our volunteers can put that in the chat as well. There's also Amazon Fresh, which is only in certain cities in the US, as well as Fresh Direct, which is only in the US. And then there's also something called HelloFresh as well. So if you're interested in any of these services or grocery stores, you can just click on the links. Now I will be going over Instacart in a bit more detail. To start off, how Instacart works. 
Instacart is an app that lets you shop from your local grocery stores online and then sends a personal shopper to fulfill and deliver your order to you in the same day that you have put in your order. Unlike other grocery services, they do not stockpile fresh produce in a massive warehouse. They get it from stores like Kroger, Shaw's, and Costco, and it gets sent to one of their employees. The personal shopper goes to the store for you and personally drives it to you in their own car. Instacart is available all over Canada as well as in the US. And you can check to see if they are in your area. And then if you want, you can sign up to be notified when there are updates. To the right, you can see a few screenshots of an Instacart personal shopper employee standing in front of some fresh produce and then, and then also them at a checkout station um, actually purchasing the groceries for you. How much does Instacart cost? First, there are the grocery costs. Instacart does not include the prices of the groceries. Usually the prices are set up by the individual stores that you are specifically shopping from. And you may have to pay a little bit more than if you were shopping in person. As well, your choice of store also may have a section of coupons you are able to use while purchasing. But this varies de depending on which store that you're at. There are also delivery costs involved, of course, to pay the personal shopper. And with Instacart, your first delivery is free. You do not have to be a member to buy groceries, but if you are a member, then you will get free deliveries for orders on more than $35. And if you want same day delivery for non-Express members, you will have to pay $3.99 for orders more than $35. Additionally, there are tipping costs um, and tips are strongly encouraged. Usually it is $5 or 20% of the bill just to show gratitude towards the person that shopped for you. And there are some positive as well as negative aspects of Instacart, but I will start with the pros. Firstly, they have a very thorough online selection of products. And I will show this to you in a live demonstration at the end of this presentation, and you will see that there are many options available. There's also access to Costco, even if you do not have a membership, which is one of the, I, I personally think, best features of Instacart because a lot of people don't have the Costco membership, and it's really great to be able to buy something from Costco um, when you usually wouldn't be able to yourself. You can also order from stores beyond just supermarkets if you want other items. And it is very convenient, especially for when you are sick or otherwise unable to go out to shop. Also, they have a very easy ordering experience and a straightforward website as well as mobile application. And the personal shoppers are very friendly. The shoppers are communicative if there are any problems or substitutions and will always make sure that you are happy with your purchases. But there are, of course, some cons um, that come with the pros. Firstly, it does not take store sales, coupons, or rewards into account. And you also cannot be too choosy or picky about the products. Sometimes there are some things that you won't get um, exactly what you asked for. As well, prices are different from in-store prices, which means that you will pay premium price. The markup varies from each store, and it is not clear why some items are more expensive than others. So if you're looking to always get the best possible price, Instacart may not be the best option for you. Now I'm going to go over how to create an account with Instacart. The first step is to go to their website, which you can access by typing www.instacart.com into your web browser, or alternatively, you can click on the link on the slide. Then you will select your country and enter your zip or postal code or address so that they know which area you're in and they can find possible stores. After you've typed it in, you can click on the continue button and that's the green button right on the middle of the screen. The next step is to use your email address to sign up or you can create an account with an existing Facebook or Google account as well. Once you are ready, you can press sign up with email to create an account. 
and you can see on the right of the screen, this is what it will look like when they want you to set up an account. You can either type your email in where this orange box is outlined, or you can sign up with your um, Facebook or Google account. You are now able to do one-time shopping, but if you want to create a permanent account, that will save all of your information and it will allow you to see previous orders as well as other features that I will be going over, you must create a password. To do this, you want to click on account in the top right hand side of the screen. You can see here, it says, hi, Macaulay Cassidy, and you can then click on your account, which is outlined in the orange box. Just a warning that sometimes this may look different depending on um, the device that you're on and you may have to scroll down to find the account section, but you wanna look for something that has this icon. Then you would click on account and click on your account. Under account information beside password, you would click on create. You would then enter a new password and hit save. You have now created a permanent account and you can click on Instacart in the top left hand corner to start shopping. If you look to the right of the screen, you can see an orange box that is outlining where to create your password and then you would be able to type it in on this screen here and click on save after you confirm what you have typed in and then you want to find the Instacart icon to begin shopping. Tips for grocery delivery. First, you want to make sure that you instruct the delivery person to leave groceries outside of your door, and then you can go and retrieve them once they are gone in order to avoid close contact with the personal shopper. You also can wash your hands and surfaces after bringing in outside material into your home, though um, this may not necessarily be needed depending on if there's a lot of COVID in your area or how comfortable you feel um, with surfaces. Next is troubleshooting the long wait times that may come with Instacart. On Instacart, your order will stay in checkout even if you leave the site, as long as you have a permanent account. Again, to get a permanent account, you would have to create a password. You can then keep refreshing the page um, that you're on, which is the checkout page, where you see the products that you have put in your cart and where you're ready to pay. You can reload this every so often, and then new delivery times will become available depending on the people working at Instacart, um, specifically the personal shoppers, as well as um, the logistical timings of the shopping. You can also ask a young person in your life to log on to the account if you give them the email and password, and they can keep an eye out for delivery times. Since you would have a permanent account, you can then leave the items in your cart and type in your credit card information, and it will then be there for another person to go and order. So even if they're on a different device in a completely different place, they can still click on order and get it delivered to your home. Other grocery delivery methods. If you shop at a local store, they may be taking grocery orders over the phone or by email. So you can give them a call or even ask them the next time that you go in, um, if you do go into the store, um, to ask what services they offer. Some stores do not offer delivery, but may offer curbside pickup as an alternative. So you can drive to the pickup grocery store without going in the store. For example, I believe there are many law laws that allow you to go and park in a parking spot and open your trunk and one of their employees will bring your groceries and put them in your car for you and you don't have to come in contact with them at all. Now I will be going over a live demonstration of the Instacart website um, just to give you a little bit of um, a step by step of how to use it. So the first step is to go to www.instacart.ca. And once you arrive at the page, this is what it will look like. I again have selected Canada. Um, as I mentioned in the website to select your country, I selected Canada because I am in Canada. From there, you can enter your address if you want to just shop with Instacart once, or you can sign up. 
And if you already have an account, then you can log in. But I am going to pretend like I don't have an account and I'm gonna click on sign up. From there, you can enter your email address and then click on continue. This will then take you to um, the Instacart page and you would have to go into the account settings to create your permanent account. Or you can continue with your phone number or your Facebook account or Google. You would then just follow the steps. It would ask you to put in your postal code and your address as well. And then you would be able to start shopping. Since I already have an account, I will go to the login page and click on login. Once the page loads, you'll be taken to the Instacart um, main website. And here you will see a variety of different options available to you. At the top, you can see there is a menu type navigation system where you can click on different icons and um, words in order to find what you're looking for. For example, if you want to pick something up or you want groceries delivered, you want something from a convenience store delivered, you wanna look at the in-store prices, if you wanna buy something in bulk or you wanna buy from another store, as well as pharmacies as well. And you can go to the new section to see new information. But I'm going to go through um, choosing some groceries. So once you have put in your address or your zip code, it will find stores in your area. So it's telling me that I could possibly go to Loblaws or City Market or m and Food Market as well. And if you continue scrolling, you can find a wide range of options. If you have a specific store that you're interested in and you want to search them up, you can go into the top search bar um, and you can search a store such as Metro and then you would be able to find a store if it was near you. But since there's no Metro available near me, then it won't come up. So if you want to look at Loblaws, for example, you can click on their store or you can search up specific items to find the best price and then take it from the store that comes up. But I'm going to go into Loblaws and they have lots of different products available to me. They are fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, snacks, et cetera. So you can really buy many different types of products and many different brands um, from different stores. You can also navigate this store by going to the left side of your screen and clicking on a certain type of food. So there's meat and seafood and the list goes on, it's quite long. And then there's also the option to buy it again. If you shop at Loblaws quite often, then you'll be able to go and see what you have already purchased. And this can be really helpful, say for items that you buy on a weekly basis. So you don't have to constantly go and find them again. There are also recipes that are provided. Um, and this is another great section of the website because you can find out what you need to buy um, after looking at what you're interested in, in actually making, say for dinner. So you can go into the recipes and look at the recipes that they recommend. You can also see um, the, the estimated delivery time. In the top right-hand corner, you can see that it says by 5.30 p.m., which means that I could have groceries delivered by 5.30 p.m., which shows that this is a very great service right now and it has many delivery times available. If you wanna go back, you can click on Instacart at the top left-hand corner and you'll be back to the main page. From here, you can also go into the left-hand menu bar by clicking on the three lines, and you can see the different account settings as well as additional information and tools that are available. To go into your account, you want to click on account settings, and then you can see lots of different information. You can see the email address that you have, you can see your password. If you want to change it, then you can change it. Um, and if you do not have a password, you can click on create one. But since we already have one, that's not an option. And then you can add in personal information. And there are also some accessibility settings. In this section of the website, there's also a, a your orders section. And you can click on that to see your previous orders. You can also go into Instacart Express. This is the premium version, and you can get $0 delivery fee on orders over $35, 
and you can also save approximately $7 per order. There are also lower service fees versus a non-member pricing, and it is only $99 a year after the trial, and you can cancel at any time. And you can start your 14-day free trial by going and clicking on this button here. So these are some great services and additional um, things that they offer if you do pay for the paid version. Then to go back to the other page that we were looking at, you can find other things such as inviting friends, you can look for credits and promotions that you have, you can buy a gift card, and you can go into your um, account settings, which we are already looking at, and then you can also look at addresses, which is good um, because you can decide where you want them to deliver your groceries. And then there's also payment methods, which is important because you want to add a credit card or debit card in order to buy your groceries or other items. And there's also the option to go to the help section. This is a great part of the website as well. Um, you can see information and popular articles on things that other people might be wondering and just general topics such as how Instacart works, the gift cards that they have, their express, how to place orders, and even more if you keep scrolling. So they have many great resources. And also if you have, um, are you, if you're in need of extra support and you're a senior, you can also call them um, anytime from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So they have great service for seniors as well. And that is the end of the live demonstration. We'll now be going into breakout rooms to discuss the presentation further.